Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about pointer expression and pointer arithmetic. So here we can perform expressions and arithmetic operation in pointers. So let's see, we can perform arithmetic operations to pointers variable using arithmetic operator that is plus, minus, multiplication, division, modulo division. So, these are the arithmetic operators. Okay. We can add an integer or subtract an integer using pointer pointing to that integer variable. For suppose, we all know pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable. Okay. For example, int a comma b. So, a is equals to 10, b is equals to 20. Okay. So, when you declare and initialize, the memory is allocated for the variables and the values are stored in the weight variables. Okay. In the memory locations. So, 10, 20. So, every memory location contains unique memory address. For suppose, the address of this memory location is 1001 and the address of this memory location is 1010. Okay. Next, I am taking two pointer variables. So, here star p1, comma star p2. Okay. This is the way to declare an pointer, to declare a pointer. So, I already discussed in the previous class. So, here I am storing P1 is equals to ampersand A. P2 is equals to ampersand B. Okay. Which means the address of A is stored in P1. The address of B is stored at P2. Okay. Pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable. So, here P1 is a variable. It is used to store the address of A variable. Okay. The memory is allocated for P1. So, here the P1 is stored 1001. That is the address of A. Next, P2 is allocated for memory and the address is 1010 is stored in that memory location. Okay. So, here star PTR1, P1 plus, if we perform addition operation between P1 and P2, what is the result? So, here, star P1, star P2. Remember that star, if you represent a star, it takes the value, not the address. So, here star P1. In P1, the address is 1001. So, in the address of 1001, the 10 is stored. So, 10 plus. Next, star P2. Star means value. So, P2 address is 1010. So, in 1010, it contains the value that is 20. So, the answer is 30. So, in this way, we can perform the pointer arithmetic operations okay so here see this star ptr1 plus star ptr1 so it will add the two values by using pointers next star ptr1 multiplication star ptr2 so here it performs multiplication operation so here addition operation as well as multiplication operation so here we are performing arithmetic operations by using pointers to add the values. Okay. So, see this. So, A contains 20. B contains value 10. So, if we add these two numbers, the value is 30. Okay. So, whenever you initialize one variable or you declare one variable, the memory is allocated for the variable. Okay. So, here A is stored at memory location that is 
टू जीरो इज द मेमरी लोकेशन सो हियर टेंथ मेमरी लोकेशन इज फोर जीरो एट जीरो नेक्स्ट दिस मेमरी लोकेशन इज सिक्स डबल जीरो टू ओके वेरिएबल विथ विथ ए वैल्यू ऑफ ए ओके इन द सेम वे इफ वी परफॉर्म एडिशन ऑपरेशन बिटवीन टू पॉइंटर्स ओके सो सी दिस फोर जीरो फोर जीरो सॉरी फोर जीरो टू जीरो प्लस फोर जीरो एट जीरो सो फोर जीरो टू जीरो द मेमरी एड्रेस विच कंटेन्स ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर जीरो एट जीरो इट कंटेन्स द वैल्यू टेन सो द रिजल्टेंट वैल्यू इज थर्टी सो इफ यू परफॉर्म लाइक दिस द आउटपुट इज थर्टी इफ यू यूज पॉइंटर्स द वैल्यू इज थर्टी सो इन दिस वे वी कैन यूज पॉइंटर्स टू perform arithmetic operations okay let's see one example program so here int main it is the main method int a is equals to 20 b is equals to 10 so a is stored at memory location next b is 10 so the address of uh, This memory location is one zero one zero. This memory location is one zero two zero. Remember, okay? Assume. Next, int add sub div mul mode. Okay. So here we taken five variables. Next, I am declaring one pointer variable that is star p t r a star p t r b. Okay. so for these variables the memory is allocated ptr a next ptr b so these two are pointer variables it will definitely store the address of another variable not the value okay so ptr a stores the address of a so ampersand is a symbol which is used to indicate the address okay address of a is 1010 so 1010 is stored at ptr a next ptr b is equals to ampersand b so here 1020 20. okay next add is equals to add is a data type variable is equals to address of sorry ptr a plus star ptr b so i already said that star is used to a uh, star is used for values not the address okay so star means star ptr a means so here it contains 1010 in the 1010 memory location it contains 20 so 20 plus next star ptr b so here 1020 in the 1020 memory location the value is 10 so 30 same subtraction Twenty minus ten, ten. Okay. Next multiplication, division, modulo division. Next we are printing. Addition is equals to add. The value is thirty is displayed. Subtraction is ten displayed. Multiplication, division, modulo division. So in this way we can add the values by using pointers also. Pointer is used to store the address, but by using pointers we can add the values also in this way okay next so this is the output addition is 30 subtraction is 20 10 multiplication is 200 division is 2 and modulo division is 0 so this is the output for that program okay next pointer arithmetic in c so we can perform various other operations like addition subtraction however we know that pointer contains the address the result of arithmetic operation performed on the pointer will also be a pointer okay so if we add the two values the value will be so the resultant uh, result will be a value okay if we add the pointers that means address okay if we add the address it contains the pointer if the operand is of type integer let's see 
so here we are performing incrementing pointer so here we are not concentrating on value so here we are concentrating on pointer that means address if you want to add the two pointer addresses or if you want to increment the address decrement the address you can perform this operations let's see so if you want to increment a pointer by one the pointer will start pointing to the immediate next location for suppose the pointer is locating at 1001 if you increment it will point to 1004 okay so for 32 int bit it takes uh, two bytes only for 64 int variables it will take four bytes so i am incrementing four bytes okay so the rule to increment a pointer is given below new address is equals to current address plus i into size of data type okay you can give 32 bit or 64 bit so new address is 1004 is equals to current address is 1001 plus i want to increment 1 okay so it will increment to 1004 let's see so here the program hash include stdio.h int main int number is equals to 50 so 50 is stored at memory location so the variable name is number okay next i am taking one pointer variable so in p i am storing the address of num so p contains the address of num so that is 1050 suppose okay next the address of p variable is so here we are taking percent is u u means long int so for long integer we take percent is u so here we are printing the address so the address contains number of integer variables number of uh, numbers so that's why we are using pointer sorry percent is u next we are incrementing p is equals to play plus 1 so p value is 1050 so 1050 plus 1 so it will increment to 1054 because it increment 4 bits 4 bytes sorry 4 bytes the after incrementation the address of p variable is 1054 in case p will get incremented by 4 bytes okay so if p incremented by 4 bytes the output will be 1054 so if if it takes 2 bytes the resultant will be 1052 okay so let's see the address of p variable is 32148643004 so if you increment the value will be incremented by Four four bytes will be incremented. So here we are incrementing the address, not the value. Okay. So in the same example, if you use a star, the value will be incremented. So fifty will be incremented by one. That is fifty one. So here you are not used a star. So that's why the address will be incremented. Okay. Next addition. So. uh in the previous session okay in the previous we we seen addition of two values by using pointers so here we are adding two pointer variables okay two pointers two addresses let's see so hash include stdio.h int num 50 num 50 next storing the address of uh, num okay so 1050 is the address so 1050 will be stored in p next printing the address of p is so p is equals to p plus 3 okay so p plus 3 means p is equals to p plus 3 p value is 10 
ओके इफ यू इंक्रीमेंट दीज वैल्यू बै वन दट ईज फाइव जीरो वन जीरो फाइव फोर इफ यू इंक्रीमेंट वन जीरो फाइव एट अगेन इफ यू इंक्रीमेंट वन जीरो सिक्स टू सो वन टू थ्री सो इंक्रीमेंट पी प्लस थ्री सो द वैल्यू इज वन जीरो सिक्स टू एडिशन टू नेक्स्ट वन वन टू सो टू वन वन टू इज द आंसर सी द एड्रेस इज वन जीरो फाइव जीरो सो हियर द लॉजिक इज पी प्लस थ्री सो यू नीड टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू बाय थ्री सो इफ यू इंक्रीमेंट इफ यू इंक्रीमेंट बाय वन सो द वैल्यू विल बी वन जीरो फाइव फोर बिकॉज फोर बाइट्स विल बी एडेड ओके नेक्स्ट अगेन यू इंक्रीमेंट वन जीरो फाइव एट थर्ड टाइम वन जीरो सिक्स टू ओके सो द एडिशन ऑफ वन जीरो फाइव जीरो नेक्स्ट वन जीरो सिक्स टू इज टू वन वन टू टू वन वन टू इज द एंसर लेट सी द आउटपुट सो हियर द एड्रेस ऑफ द वेरेबल इज थ्री फोर थ्री डबल जीरो आफ्टर इंक्रीमेंटिंग द एड्रेस विल बी फोर थ्री वन टू सो फर्स्ट फोर थ्री जीरो जीरो नेक्स्ट इंक्रीमेंटेशन फोर थ्री जीरो फोर नेक्स्ट फोर थ्री जीरो एट नेक्स्ट फोर थ्री वन टू सो द एडिशन ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज ओके सॉरी आफ्टर एडिंग द रिजल्ट वैल्यू विल बी फोर थ्री वन टू ओके सो जस्ट वी आर एडिंग पी प्लस थ्री दट्स इट ओके नेक्स्ट ओके सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग टू दिस वीडियो प्लीज कमेंट मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव सीन pointer arithmetic operations so how to add values and how to add addresses of pointers okay so if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you